They call it a dreamliner. And for the people at Qantas, today, a dream will come true. Perth, one of the world's most isolated cities, will be linked by a non-stop flight to London, one of the world's busiest. More than 220 passengers will be on board the inaugural service, among them, Qantas CEO Alan Joyce. You ready to check us in? When he first announced the airline would fly the epic 14,500 kilometres, he called it a game changer. And two years on, Mr Joyce hasn't wavered in his belief the route will revolutionise air travel. Well, it's a historic day for Western Australia, a historic day for aviation, a historic day for Qantas. The Premier and Tourism Ministers are also travelling to London, using the opportunity to promote WA while in the UK. I suspect there will be some frivolity and jollity uh, on the flight uh, from other people, but of course not from me, because I'll be, I'll be buried in my notes. Of the four Dreamliners Qantas owns, this one, featuring a striking Aboriginal design, has been chosen to christen the route. Lisa Norman will be one of two captains at the controls of the 787. Today's flight will take 17 hours and 20 minutes. It's the second longest in the world. The best service that Qantas has ever put in the air. Qantas has done more than any other airline to combat the effects of jet lag, designing the cabin from the inside out with passenger comfort the priority. Everything from bigger windows and lights that help adjust travellers' body clocks towards the time at the destination to creating a menu using ingredients that encourage sleep. Coconut water, we also have a Botanica cold press green juice. If the route proves successful, the hope is it will transform Perth into the western gateway to Australia and encourage tourists who in the past would never have thought of travelling to WA to spend their time and their money here.